So before we do anything, we're gonna attempt Ur Dragon. I don't think I'm ready. But fuck it. We're gonna attempt the hardest enemy in the base game. And probably fail. And it doesn't matter if we win or lose, if uh, we're gonna do the final fight afterwards. <gasps> Alright. Let's see if I can see where this landing spot is. It's always a nightmare to spot. Oh, there it is. I see it. There we are. This is the original Elden Ring. Because <laughs> unlike Elden Ring, this is actually... This is actually a ring. It's actually a circle. Alright. Let's one-shot these nerds. Let's one-shot these nerds. Here we go. One. I'll support you. Ah, and two and three. Nice. Okay, why are you roaring? Alright. Bonus secret extra fight. That is really hard. That I will probably fail on. Here we go. Seed your Here we go. Wait for him to stop. Give him three seconds. Buff myself. And get ready to run. And run. There it. Strike where the beast closed. What's my damage like? Oh it is useless to not bad. Not bad at all, actually. This could be doable. This is the most overpowered class to do this as, so... I have a little bit of an advantage. Oh, he's doing the spin. Also, I don't think I brought many healing items. Okay, first health bar down. This is the most cheesy way to kill this guy, by the way. He is stupidly immune to holy, and this is the strongest holy attack in the game. So if this seems easy, that would be why. But he can two-shot me, so... Let's not get two-shot. Also, I'm stunlocking the shit out of him. That will eventually end. He will get attacks off. He's going down. That's good. That means they do double damage. My buff is gonna end soon. Oh, I think our first crystal just broke. We're three and a half health bars down. About to be four. Oh, and I need to grab that loot on the ground before it despawns. Give me that. Alright, now comes the hard part. I have to buff mid-fight. Ah, I canceled my spell. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, got the buff off. Oh, oh, my fucking teammate broke a... Um, broke a thing on him. He fell over again. So this guy can be 8-shot. It's impossible to one-shot this guy, but you can... You can 8-shot him. If you are max level with the best weapon in the game. We are currently memeing on him, though. But if he gets an attack off on me, I will have a bad day. I want to hit that main chest one if I can. Oh, he's, he's doing a spell. Can I cancel that? Yes! I hate that spell. It fucking hurts. Also, yeah, like, if you play mage against this guy or sorcerer, you just meme on him. This is the easiest way to beat him in the game. Like, any other class is a nightmare. This... This is a meme. Like, good luck. I just didn't think we'd have enough damage, but apparently we do. You also have a time limit to beat this guy, so I have no idea if I'll actually beat him. You don't really get to see your time limit, but I believe it is six minutes. Okay, there we go. 
broke some more hearts. Probably has a tail heart still. I see that one heart there. I know. I'm trying not to hit the darkened areas. But yeah, no like cool fancy spells against the psych, so you don't have enough time to cast spells on him. You just do focus bolt over and over. And that's enough. To kill him over time. Okay, there's definitely a heart back here still. Let's hit that. Focus on that. Last three health bars. Oh, I need to buff again. And he's gonna do tail swipe probably. Oh no, cut it off. Oh fuck. Oh, this move. This move, okay. And look up in the sky. Okay, I'm good. That is a two shot move. Okay, I need to grab this loot before I lose my chance. Okay. I'll scale it and strike from above. You do that. I got all my loot. I'm happy. Nice. We're running low on weak spots now, so we're not killing him as fast anymore. I also forgot to bring a veteran's parry app for this. Oh, here comes a spell. I need to be ready to sprint. Sprint! Okay, I'm out of it. A single tick of that did 10% of my health. And that ticks very fast. If I stayed in that, instant death. Alright, we're gonna get some double damage now. I'm broken. Go for this tail one. Tail one broken, I think. Come on. He, by the way, he looks more and more zombified the further in this fight you get. He's looking fucking nasty now. He did not look like this when we started the fight. Which is very cool. I like that. But, yeah, as this class, we joke. It's a meme. Last health bar. Can I defeat him before the time runs out? Oh, fuck, I have to buff again. Go, 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 go. Okay. Fuck, he's doing the wing shit. Oh, nice. Silas knocked him the fuck over. Silas got one of the neck ones. Good job. We may be able to do this. There's only a few more weak spots left. We just have to find them. They're getting kind of hard to find. I know. There's not much left. I think he's thinking about flying away, though. Oh, he was just about to, I think. Come on. Oh, nice. All right. That's the optional fight. And we beat him first try. Awesome. Yeah, he gives... Yeah, I just leveled up twice. He gives so much XP, you can level up several times. If you bring veterans parry apps, you can get four levels of kill. He's one of the fastest way to level um, other than death farming, but I can't kill death yet. Very nice. Also, looting him is a nightmare. Did you get anything, Silas? Oh, here we are. Alright. Cool. A dude just to try to prove to me that he wasn't bad at games and joined about it by telling me his KD in every game. And the dude mentions KD in Roblox. Well, what was his KD? I have to know now. <laughs> I have to know his KD in Roblox. So here is the grand reward of a billion wake stones. Oh, I have to actually see what weapon did I get. Heaven's Key. Hey. 
I'm gonna be so fucking over encumbered after all these. There we go. Alright, let's stash these, because I'm not carrying all of these. And then let's end the game. Like two or something. Well, I wouldn't have bragged if it was that. I never brag about KD anyways, but if I was gonna, it would have to have been higher than that. Take a look at that. The maker have your pig, or will it be? Alright. I'm gonna stash all this shit. Now, I actually need a bunch of wake stones. And we do have the required amount here, but I'm gonna have my companion hold them because they are very heavy and I am a weak, what will it be today? A sad being. Okay, uh, withdraw. Wow, we have 67 wake stones now. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention in between last time and now, I did a bunch of off uh, stream. Uh, Grinding. I did the Everfall two more times. I explored the world a little bit. I finished every single from a different sky off screen. Uh, we went to level 70. Now we're level 72. And I got some new gear. And I swapped back to uh, Sorcerer. That's what I did last time. Alright, let's go end the game, Silas. What do you think? Tis not defeat to flee from battle, Master. Tis survival. We can't flee from this battle. We gotta go straight in it. Now let's go. This is the final battle. The final battle! Goldman. We're gonna go protect the life cycle. One sec. Alright, there's a chest here. I keep forgetting about that. Liquid Vim. Uh, where is that spot? Uh, uh, uh. Tis like the very earth is oh, wait, it's there. Whoops. Alright, I'll just fall all the way down. Whee! Apparently, he wanted to prove something. <laughs> we... I mean, if I end up doing something in the video game I feel really proud of, I'm just proud of it to myself most of the time. Unless it's like something crazy, then I'll Hello. tell it to my friends, and that's it. I'm not gonna go tell random strangers how great I am at Roblox. Hello, Quince. We brought you your 20 wake stones. Yes, at last. At last, you've gathered the whole of them. With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power, will guide you forward, Arisen. I fear there will be no returning to this place. Are you prepared to journey on? Oh, I'm prepared. End this, Arisen. May the world be put right by your hand. Let's finish the cycle. Nothing to do but to jump in, don't you think? What do you suppose we'll find, Gula? I don't know. <laughs> A couple times. I played through it like four or five times. Welcome. Welcome to the end of time. Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition. No different than any you faced. Ow! You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. So I actually want to show off an alternate ending, yes. so I'm going to die on purpose. Uh, it's a lot easier to die on purpose if I'm not 
wearing all this gear, so I'm gonna just get naked real quick. Because all this gear is very good at protecting me from dying. So we're just gonna get- we're just gonna get naked real quick. Alright, go ahead and kill me, buddy. What force spurs you on? What sustained your Come on. Led you here? Come on, buddy. What is it that makes you alive? That's a little bit better, but it's not enough damage. You gotta do more damage. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has Ooh. brought you here. Wow, okay, I do way too much damage. I do way too much damage. Yes, more of that. More of that. This might take a while. But there's an alternate ending that I want to show off. Ow. Alright, you're almost halfway there. You're doing good. I'm a little bit too tanky to magic is the problem. I, I'm very resistant to magic. I have been a mage the entire game. Well, I've been a magic class. I haven't been the mage specifically. Am I too close? There we go. Come on, a few more of those. I want to show off the secret ending that most players won't get because this fight is way too easy. You only get the if you lose, and seriously, most people aren't going to lose this fight. It's very easy. Even on hard difficulty, this is easy. Come on. If I was playing on easy, do you think he could even kill me? Would he just do one damage? You're, you're getting there. You're getting close. A little bit more. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, like two more of those. You're almost there, buddy. Come on. Where are you now? Over there. Come on. Blast me with that magic. One more. Give me one more of those. Yes. This is what happens when you lose. This confirms any theories you might have had before about the origin of the dragon. And so the cycle continues. I get to be a dragon now, because I'm fucking dead. Also, I believe this is the exact same cutscene as the beginning of the game. Yeah, we get to fly and terrorize our own lands again. That's what happens when you lose. And that confirms the origin of Grigori. Probably wasn't a Risen who failed. Alright, we're gonna skip the credits, because I'm just gonna redo this. <laughs> That's not actually how the game ends. Yeah. That is a end of the game. Alright, let's fight. As you air have fought in coming here. <laughs> What is it that impels you? Oh. What force spurs you on? Hey, cheap move. What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, Ooh. what is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are mm -hmm. here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Teleport. Oh, no, there we go. Me. Just as you call for forms, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but 
but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is Cole's truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. Well, I'm dead. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the forms. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Let us continue. Oh. Try to cheap shot me out of the cutscene? Animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of yours. By the way, I need to pause for a moment. The game is making two current statements. One, it is acknowledging the player. The game acknowledges that you're a player character and there's someone controlling you right now. And two, that everyone in this world is but empty NPCs with nothing about them. They're just NPCs in an empty hollow world. The game is telling you this right now. Soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pawns. Whoa! Show that your will is fit to bind the frame circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now and cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. I came here to fight God, not get philosophy. And to be acknowledged as a player of a video game. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Again! It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours, Arisen. Yours alone. Alright, let's show these as well. It is a simple choice, Arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Yeah, let's do that first. You would choose peace. That too is a valid fate. Yeah, yeah, Leave now. yeah I'll, I'll go with peace for now. That sounds cool. Yay! Peace! <laughs> Quest! You traded your weapon for the quiet comfort of your fellow village, of course. Ah. I love peace. Isn't peace nice? Hey, guys. Don't we all love peace? Then fear has bested you as well. Oh god. So be it. Go and seek your peace. Your guttering beacon in the churning dark. Oh god. And I shall await the coming of the next. And so the cycle happened again. Anyways, we're not going to pick that ending either. That ending sucks. <laughs> Alright. So here, they're going to put a bunch of people on a path that we've met in our travels. Oh, it looks like they put Mace in there first. Why not put an end to it? The praises of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. That's a might harsh, eh? Ever to know one of you. Sorry, Mason. 
Oh, the dragon forged. There is Salamet. Oh, who did I just kill up there? I accidentally shot someone. Oh no, Mercedes! But your own. Oh, rip. Killed her too. Oh, I've been waiting for you! I have been waiting for you, you little shit! I have been waiting all game to do this. Die! Oh, I killed someone up there. Whoops. Alright. Fuck you, you little shit. Oh, old Duke. There he is. Swing at me. Ow. Okay, he still hurts. Stop that. Who we got here? Oh, it's... Oh, okay. It's... It's Delisian. Die. I would beg you rest a while. But just as like you would turn a deaf ear, instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind now and again. Will do. Sorry, Adara. Oh, no. Oh, here, here come the entire women's squad. They all love me. Goodbye. Oh, Celine was very nice to me, though. Sorry, Celine. Oh, there's Kina. It doesn't matter, they're just empty NPCs. The game told us that. You are close now. So very close to me. There he is. Come, I shall meet you on your own terms. Join. If you do not remember who this is, this is the character from the tutorial of the game. He is the last one who beat God. If you're playing online, it is the last player who beat the game. However, if you're offline, it is always Savan. That's why I wanted to be offline for this. Uh, is because it makes more sense. Because if I would have gone online, I would have been some random guy on his pawn. But yeah, that's the last person who canonically defeated God. If I remember correctly, his little pawn can hurt. Ooh! The forge of my heart grows cold. World ships Oh. It repeats upon itself that all the world may repeat with you. And so the cycle continues. Forever. All the world repeats with it. In a cycle. To the end. To the end. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Here, take the sword I have in me. I already have one of those. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this man's kiss. God, those hands. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now to vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. Rips of the 
gateways link in distant places, slivers of a world far more vast. New crown sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's paint blade. The main menu theme is playing. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. Yeah, I would like some answers. My knowledge as my all is yours to take. Let's begin with the world. The pawns exist astride the rift. They speak of a multitude of worlds, each infinite unto itself. He right now is talking about how there are many copies of this game and everyone's playing. He's talking about all the players and their own individual worlds. Limitless in span and lost to time. These worlds and new game plus is he also what he's talking about? Just as a ring lacks start and end, so this world has no origin, no final terminus. The world never ends. It never starts. If it does, they lie beyond arc. We are prisoners of unpassing time, wandering an unending land. What hey, lies Diana. beyond, we cannot know. Even New Crown Sol. If there is my what is the seneschal? As my own. The seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the arisen calls Pon into being and sets them to motion, the seneschal holds dominion over all living things. There are those who would call such a being maker or god. I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served, just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. Yeah, so we have essentially become God. In a, an endless cycle of gods. And someone will come after me and try to become God themselves. Grant me now this if there is all my knowledge. What is eternity? Aye, there is life in the world and with it death. Not lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of ponds. They appear in this world and vanish only to appear again, like bubbles in a mountain spring. As so it is with all that lives within this eternal world. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch, Sinisha. Each beast, each blade of grass, each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm. Never ends. Not lasts forever, yet all persists unto eternity. This new crowns. All right, if final question. Knowledge, as what is own, will? It's your will. It's that which led you to this place, and that which turns the eternal wheel of the world. Along the endless string of life and death, there are some born with a hunger. They yearn for some other, better place. They are the arisen. Nascent fountainheads of will. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the arisen and refine them, to temper their wills into aught capable of sustaining the world. And so the cycle of our world has ere continued. Basically, what he's saying is the world exists on an infinite loop of making more and more gods to defeat gods over and over, to make a stronger and stronger god. Because there is some sort of unknown force in this world that none knows how to defeat. And so they send a dragon into the world and task an arisen with defeating it over and over in hopes to see where this might lead. And everyone has repeated it nigh infinite times. And we're doing just the same thing again. No, it is time to wield the blade. Ooh. I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity. Of infinity. Free of the cruel, unending ring. The Elden Ring. <laughs> Well, 
All that's left is to take my throne. <laughs> West, live as the Seneschal. You have become the new Seneschal, keeper of the world. This home shall be yours for eternity. What do you think about that, actually? You've the means to bring about anything. Even the end. Alright, cool. So now you basically live in an infinite existence, and you can just exist in the world. You can't affect anything. People don't know you're there. You can actually pick people up, though. It's kind of funny. So this guy just, he woke up one day, and he was just flying around like this, and he has no idea what happened. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, we, we just exist. And people don't really know. We can affect people, but we pass through people if we try to do anything. Valmiro's back. Because everything has basically reset to the beginning of the game. <laughs> this happened to my buddy Eric. <laughs> hey, Nutmeg. We still have to open doors, weirdly enough. Hello, Pablo. How you doing? Anyways. If we try to leave... We end up back here. We sit back down, we end up in random other spaces. There's only one solution now. We're God. We can't do anything but to wait for another Arisen. But there is another option. There is another option that the God can do. Stop being God. What if there wasn't a God at all? What if there were no gods? Open your eyes. Oh, no, that's a shot. I should have worn more under this. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Remember what an NPC said to us near the beginning of the game? How their pawn had become them slowly over time? We've given a life to Silas. Silas gets to be me now. Also, Silas is now a woman. You'll have to learn to live with that, but... You feel an odd pride as you pl- Well, thank you, SSD! I couldn't read that. I, s I have this on my SSD. Good luck. That was the base game of Dragon's Dogma. Now we're going to be heading into the DLC, but in order to do that, we need to start a new game plus, and we need to do the first two quests. So we're going to do the first two quests again. Uh, but yeah. Now this end screen here is going to start showing my character, 
Silas, as well as random other people we've hired along this playthrough. There's me. There's, there's what I beat the game as. I hired 27 pawns. I slayed 4,883 enemies. There's Silas. Look at him. He looks awesome in that picture, actually. But yeah. This is a fantastic game, and it is a shame that more people don't play it. I can understand. It is a tough game to get into. The early game is very slow. There's a lot of things you don't know about the world. Oh, there's Riley! <laughs> there's a reptile's uh, pawn. Reptile's one of my friends. There's his pawn. Okay. But yeah, it... Once you get past some of the hurdles, it is a fucking fantastic game. And the story for this game is insane once it starts to go crazy. Like, there's basically almost no story for a good chunk because it's all hidden to you. If they explain too much, you could understand it too easily. Oh, there's Xander! I remember Xander. He was fucking awesome. And Xander kicked ass. Good old Xander. But yeah, no... The, uh, the story starts getting crazier and crazier. You start learning about salvation, how the church worships the dragon, how they're hiding everything from you. Uh, the world is an internal ring. There's Foxy. Foxy was pretty good. I remember Foxy. I think Foxy sadly ended up dying and I never got to give them a gift. That sucks. But yeah, we're not done with this game. We have the uh, expansion left to do. The expansion is quite ridiculous. It has an amazing story. Even better than the main game. And it fits into the main game quite well. It's basically a massive dungeon. Of... Constant fights with very new enemies. With some very cool new weapons. And armor. And a fantastic final boss. And some of the best music this game has ever had. And we'll be doing that. I don't know how long the DLC is going to take me. We are playing this on normal difficulty instead of hard. So it's not going to be as difficult. But that final fight, the true final fight, because we have to do the DLC twice. The first clear gives you half of it, and then the second clear of the DLC, everything changes. Everything is different. All the areas are wrong. And the final fight is twice as hard. So we have to do the DLC twice, essentially, but... It's gonna be great. This is a game that I can only hope the sequel is... I can only hope the sequel is fantastic. I can, I can only hope it's even better than this. It's been rumored that they're working on it. It was in that Capcom leaked document, which at first a lot of people thought were bullshit because it had things like Resident Evil 4 VR on it, which at the time people thought was just ridiculous, but that exists now, that's a thing. That came out. A lot of other things on that list came out. And Dragon's Dogma 2 was on that list. But that list also happened to... Come out just before COVID. So the biggest guess is... COVID delays. If they're making a sequel, of course. I love the lyric, leaned upon a broken blade, he looks skyward. Very good line. The dragon's dogma. Unbound by time. And sees yearn. Finish the cycle 
of Eternal Return. This song has been playing since the beginning of the game. It's been telling you to finish the cycle of Eternal Return. This song has been hinting to you the end of the game the entire time you've been playing it. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna keep playing the game. We got the expansion. But yeah, no, this, the main song of this game, many times over, tells you the story of the game. It's quite great. It's, it's fantastic. All right. And now, it begins again. Because, as the game did say, Eternal Return. All there is to do now is to return. By loading our save. I'm gonna set it to online mode now. <laughs> no. Not turning off my computer. There we go. We're gonna go online again. Fun fact! Because I'm not gonna do an entire full another playthrough. If I were to beat the game again now, in New Game Plus, my character would be sitting on the throne. I would see myself. Which is quite cool, actually. But yeah, we're gonna start New Game Plus because I have two to do the DLC. It won't have us do the tutorial. It's just gonna put us straight into character creation. Which, I'm just gonna hit confirm. I'm not gonna change anything. Today, like every day, waves gently lap upon the shores. Yep, we know. Gotta skip all the cutscenes, we've already seen them. I'm just, basically, I'm just gonna speedrun to the DLC. Path that dragon. That would hurt. Also, this is an unskippable cutscene. Run into the fire! It actually doesn't one-shot me now, because I'm so high level. <laughs> You're gonna have to try harder than that, buddy. Fine, I'll hit you. They actually give us a sword for this, so... Yeah. There we go. Alright, skip cutscene. We, we all know what happened. And I have to pick mage. And we're gonna skip this cutscene too. And we're gonna skip that one as well. We are just rushing for the DLC now. But I, I should talk about New Game Plus works in this game. So New Game Plus... Everything is back, that's the way it started. You keep all your levels, you keep all your gear actually, it's uh, in my bank right now. It's, so it's not on me. Um, everything resets, but a few things keep. One, the game remembers some quests you completed uh, and puts them up again. Two, the game puts up new quests. Uh, let's see if there's any- up oh, there's one! So here's a quest that only shows up in New Game Plus. Kill 25 Saurians, half a million. These only exist in New Game Plus. These start spawning all over, just giving ridiculous money rewards. Um, shop progress is saved, meaning any shops that were... The way shops in this game work is as you get further into the game, the shops upgrade. In New Game Plus, the shops stay upgraded, so they're maxed out as if we were at the end game. Still. That Skip through his dialogue. Right, right. We're gonna get Almighty Rook back. There he is. Good old Rook. Alright. Real quick, before we head out to the encampment, I'm just gonna equip a really overpowered weapon. Hmm? What can I do you for? As you will. Sort by ma er, magic. There. As you will. I'm not even gonna equip armor, because I'm gonna be swapping class in a minute. Let me grab that quest to kill 25 Saurians for um, half a million, though. That'll probably happen at some point. 